Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, Dalton Trail. So, let's try and get that last keystone, shall we? For the City of Gold awaits us. Melaja. What seems to be the problem? Blessed siblings. Milaja has something to show you. There's a place that will help you to understand our plight. It lies far to the west of here. Follow me. All right, and immediately we're off. That is quite a distance. Let's go. All right. Discover a new location. Bound to, especially with a new game. Uh, yeah. Also, if you're wondering, I didn't do much off screen. I did some dailies. I got Warrior up a level. Yay. But yeah, I didn't do much. Oh, yeah, I got the second level of the Thieves weapons for the Relic weapons, and they look amazing. I think I'll, that's why I have these are like 100 gil, not even. The replicas, I have a replica of what these are. They're not to be used as equipment, for as you can see, the damage and everything is completely different. That is for glamour purposes only. Oh my. Oh, damn, I see it. I have to go get it now. Man, this location is quite pretty. So, I'm not sure how long I'll be doing this episode, because as you can see, it's getting a little, you know, late my time. I got work tomorrow, and... Uh, maybe I'll stay up a little bit and try and do a nice hour and a half to two hour video. Aaronville. You won't find sites like these anywhere else. Lock Lamont. Is that meteorite up ahead? Oh. And judging by the attachment, that tree must benefit from the meteorite's unique aether. Anyway, we should press on. Mila Ja was anxious for us to see what, whatever it is she has to show us. So... Oh, yeah, that tree is on that meteorite. Okay, looks like there's stairs, so clearly there's some type of... Cerulean Sec... Sec... Sectros. Cerulean Sectros. Blue Morpho. I fought you in dungeons before, except I guess you're a stronger version. Oh, you don't want... We're doing this. Apparently the butterfly wants to go. Goodbye. There we go. <clears throat> 2,000 experience. Eh. It's not really worth killing enemies unless you're grinding for materials. Or doing a trial, which I haven't really done much. Man, this area really opened up, didn't it? Oh, so this little village. Huts, I should say. Cryo. It cannot be blocks out the sun so completely. It's as if we're in a room without windows. I, I yeah. It is clear skies right now. A hunting camp, like as, like as not. I like, I love to talk to the Mamuja hunters and learn about their ways, except they probably ignore me. The others have continued on. Let's catch up with them. I mean, I could talk to them and see if they say anything. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Won't be friends. Won't be pals. Apparently, no. But yeah, like I said last time at the end of the video, I figure out where the Aether Compass was, and I'll do that off screen. You do not need to watch me doing that. I regret not doing it before, but yeah, I forgot they moved where the compasses were. So that's on me. Because yeah, you do this, and it'll tell you direction. Like, Northwest has... Uh... 317 yalms. Use it now. 260 to the north. 208. Don't start with me. I will end you. 97 to the north. So it has to be up there. 
I know I said do this off screen, but hey, I'll do one or two. Back to the main story. The MSQ. The thing that so far is quite enjoyable. Are there flaws? You'll have to give me time to think about it, honestly. That's the thing with me. I have to experience it in its entirety and then give it a while to think about. Like Yakuza Infinite Wealth. Love the game. Then by the time I beat it, I'm like, oh, okay, it's not as good as Like a Dragon, personally. Then the more I think about it, it's like, you know what? I... The combat and the music and everything was great, but the story was not that good, to be honest. I don't know. Like a Dragon story... Man, now I'm talking about Like a Dragon in Final Fantasy. Well, here we go. Like a Dragon story really captivated me, and I loved every single bit of it. Infinite Wealth had a lot of lows for me. A lot. And the highs were decent. But honestly, compared to the story of Like a Dragon, it was not on par. The combat was better, the music, the graphics, sure, but... Man, the story for me was... Man, it was... Underneath Like a Dragon by probably two points. A cavern, it looks deep. I was not aware of such tunnels. Could be found in the Jatiki Heartland. A well-kept secret indeed. All right, let me adjust my seeing position because, yep. What are we looking at then? Having seen how dark this forest is, I can understand why so many Mamuja choose to live in Tuliola instead. Yeah, and not only talk to you, the, the place I would show you is just up ahead. Okay, this is the place you want to show us? It lies just beyond this passage. Entry to these grounds is not permitted, even to the devout. None nonetheless, I would reveal our secrets to you, but rest assured, I shall take full responsibility. Come, see for yourself the truth of the blessed. Oh no, what kind of twisted... What kind of twisted things are you guys doing to have them be born? Are you like... Oh no... Are they, like, trying to conceive a child next to the meteorite's entirety and so they can... I don't know. There's a lot of things that can be twisted in a dark secret of the blessed siblings. Or is it just a mural? No, it's a hole. Okay. I shouldn't have looked down. Eh, as water, you'll be fine. The stone pier yonder. That is our destination. I smell dungeon. To erect it there would have been no small feat. The work of Yokui hands built long, long ago. Our forebearers merely altered the entrance. Altered? To what end? It will be quicker to show you. We have beasts that can carry us below. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's only one beast I know of that... It's the Final Fantasy IX thing, right? The bug? Oh, no. Okay, I got excited for nothing. I thought it was the bugs that were in the underground caverns that would carry you, but... Nah, it's a bird. They're pretty... deer birds. Hmm. Now what's... I'm, I'm trying to think what could be... Hmm. How about I don't think and I just see what happens, eh? Oh, Baku Zaza. Baku Zaza? What? 
Could it wait to laugh at the failure? You've always come here to cry. Ever since you were little. Mother! I knew it! That was her mother. The third promise seeks to learn about Mamuk. She may be our chance to finally end what we have been powerless to stop. Talk with her. Tell her what we have done. Fine. Perhaps it's only right that we be the ones to speak of it. <laughs> Blessed as we are. This vessel holds the remains of a two-headed Mabunja. An infant. Oh, no. How many deaths are there? Is the water filled with them? Is that it? All the ones that fail are just thrown here? We converted the ruins into a cenotaph. So the souls of these children wouldn't return as vengeful spirits. Do you know how blessed siblings are made? I've heard that they are born to Hubago and Bunawa parents. There's probably something a lot more than that. Such unions between clans were originally arranged to stop infighting. The war against the Shebran was going poorly, and we needed to be united. Then, one day, a child was born. One blessed with two heads and tremendous power. When this child grew old enough to lead our army, we became unstoppable. The Shebral had no answer, and we drove them all the way back to the trees above. That taste of victory awakened our greed. We became obsessed with conceiving more and more of these superior children. No matter the cost of the countless born, most die trapped in their ships. Only one in a hundred survive. Oh, jeez. So many dead children. If we are blessed, it is only because we yet live. Unlike our brothers and sisters, who were sacrificed for the glory of Mamuk. That's... horrible. Of course it's horrible! It's an atrocity we can never take back! Those children died so that we could live. So we had to succeed, no matter what. To fail would mean it was all for nothing. And that explains why they were so... Just... Nothing. Intent on cheating just to win. But I did fail. I squandered their sacrifice. I sympathize with your pain, but... I 
should never have been born. You're wrong. You didn't ask to be born as you are, and you are responsible for your siblings' deaths. The people obsessed with blessed siblings are. They made their choices, but they don't make yours. Since when do you let others push you around, Bakul Jaja? What do you want? Say it! I want it to end. I don't want any more to die. Then you have my word. We'll put a stop to this madness. Blessed siblings are revered by their supporters as a means to achieve dominance in Tural. If we understand why they harbor such aspirations in the first place, we would be better equipped to treat with them. Indeed. I just hope they will be open to discourse. Take me with you. Those fanatics? Treat my words as gospel. No. There will be trouble if your father finds out you're still here. Moshutural Zush. There we will gather the people and ask anything the Third Promise wishes to know. Then take one of my scales. One that blends Ehubiko and Bunewa coloring. It'll serve as proof. That you have our trust. People will do as you say if you show it to them. I'm sorry. For what I've said... and done. I don't expect your forgiveness. You had your reasons. I'm glad I could know them. Which is to say, you're not a complete alpaca's ass. <laughs> Thanks, Wuklamat. Well, maybe it's for the best. Hatred is exhausting, after all. Indeed. So let us make the most of our newfound friendship and bring together the people of Mamouk. We have much to discover. I think I'll turn the music up just a tad bit. Also, wow. I actually felt like I was about to get emotional there when he'd start talking about all that. Oof. That was really good. Oof. Uh, 60 would be fine. I just don't want the music to overpower cutscenes like that, but I noticed the music was kind of soft, which I think, honestly, that's the best way to have it, but I need it a little louder. Hey, Bader, before we join the others, can we talk for a moment? I really hate hated him, you know? Baku Jaja, with every fiber of my being. He tried to ruin... Hanu Hanu. Oh, wait. Ihi Ihi Hana Hana. Ihi Hana Hana. Sabotage us on the river. Kidnapped me for my keystone. 
and release the most vicious turtle vigil of all time. Anything he, caught, caught, anything he could do to cause us pain, he did. Never in a million years would I forgive him. But the moment I understood why he did what he did. The pain he's been carrying the whole time, all my anger just evaporated. Does the pain justify his actions in your eyes? I hear you. Bakujaja's motives don't absolve him of his crimes. He must answer for, answer for them like anyone else. But right now, my duty is to ensure that no one in Ma Mamuk feels desperate enough to go such lengths ever again. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. Listen, thanks for listening. Now that I've voiced that, I feel readier for the challenges ahead. Come on, get back to this city. Man, yeah, that was... Oof. It's all just a... Man. So many children died in the making of the Blessed One. To think there was such a dark secret behind Blessed Siblings. Even among the Mamelujah, I can't imagine any you know the, tr the whole truth. Especially not those who reside in the capital. No. I had no idea Bakujaja was bearing such a burden. Had he but chosen a different path. So I believe our true character is demonstrated not by our actions, but rather by our conduct upon recognizing our faults. It is a struggle I know all too well. Yeah, Heaven's Ward. If I remember correctly, it's amazing how Wakumuk can connect with anyone. She has a credible gift. Sometimes it's best to just forgive and move on. It can be difficult. Gods, don't I know it. But... That's all the more reason to try our damnedest to look past how you're wronged and let bygones be bygones. You know, I'm not gonna lie. At the beginning, I thought Baku Jaja was gonna be like one of the main bad guys. Ends up, or meh, less, I'm gonna say less than halfway through the story, and now he's working with us, and on top of that, he is. Yeah. Or, yeah, deal with that. Can you only imagine growing up knowing that so many children and uh, sacrifices were made just to create you? Bakujaja's scale represents his faithfulness. We won't fail him or his people. Scale of trust. Alpha nodes ready to bring the people together. We haven't a moment to lose. According to Milaja, Max Zuj, Zuj is an abandoned settlement northwest of the city. It should afford us the privacy we require. We must work quickly, lest Zeroja discovers our intentions. Fortunately, Bakujaja thought to give us additional scales, so we might cover more ground in less time. Everyone should take one and get going. Use them to gather as many people as you can. Alright. Also, I never thought I'd feel bad for Bakujaja. Baker, let's retrace our steps. Maybe this time we can convince folks to lend an ear. Understood. Well, this way we go. Yeah, man, that was the first time in a story I felt in it. Emotion. Like, actual emotion, because... So far, it's been, you know good story, but that's the first time you feel something. The way they, you know, per portrayed that entire thing. Did I not tell you to move on? I can't be seen talking to the likes of you. Hey, guess what? Blessed scale, a symbol of trust bestowed upon you by Baku Jaja. It's blend of Habu 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 Habugo and Bunawa coloring makes it its origin indisputable. Here. That scale. In an outsider's hand. What business do you have with me? Hey, Northwest, go there. So Bakujaja sent you to call an assembly. I'm not sure what to make of this, but I shall go to Maxtoral Zuj at once. I'm saying that wrong? I probably am. I've been saying everything wrong in this expansion. Man, I could say around we're born things correctly, probably, and maybe some things in Stormblood, but man, this one, dude, I know English. 
Hey man, here. Hmm. That scale. If the Blessed One trusts you, so then will I. So, what is it you require of me? Northwest, abandoned village. Go there. Akujasha bids us to come to Max Choral Zuj. A strange place for an assembly, but very well. I will not refuse he who fights for our dreams. Do you know what your dreams cost, though? Do you? Sometimes dreams cost too much. That one especially. Have you managed to gather some of the good folks? I have. Wonderful. The esteemed Baku Jaja will be pleased. This fellow here will be coming to Max Choral Zuj as well. Apparently, there's a Najul nursery to the west called Gamlik Grove. Could you go there and see who you can talk to there as well? I'll meet you and Max Choral Zuj afterwards. There's just one more person I need to find. Okay. Oh man, you're really sending me out there, aren't you? Okay. A nursery. But I don't think the blessed siblings are gonna be anywhere near here. They're in the cave. The cave of failures and Yeah. Jatiki Heartland. One of the most pretty locations in the game. Look at that. And I don't want anything to do with you. The the mourner? Hmm. That's a very... That is a fitting name for what this place is. A lot of mourning. I can only imagine the parents when their child fails. Wait, so how are your babies made? You just kept saying pods. I'm, I'm curious. Leave this place, outsider. Take this. Come on. Oh, my apologies. I was unaware. I thank you, blessed scale bearer, for bringing me the word of his gathering. I shall make my way to Max Churl Zuj at once. So, yeah, I think I know what's happening in this episode. It's us learning more about, like, every other, uh... Keystone quest. We learn more about the people. We take on the thing and all this and that. We get the, the, the keystone. So this one is a bit different, isn't it? Is there one near me? Yes. To the northeast. Probably over there. All right, I'll do this on my own time. Like I said, you do not need to see me doing those. And maybe I'll do these on screen, maybe? I don't know. All right, let me see. Is it still northeast? No, east. So yeah, it's over there. And I don't feel like going over the branch bearer. You would be an awesome mount. Holy cow, you look cool. Give me this. I want that mount. Oh, hey. I. What is this? Moths are tough. Alright, give me a second. Um, we're about to fight away all our very touchy feelings. From what just happened, healer stance. If other people are here, they'll join me in due time. Choco, I should set you the mix. There we go. Look at the party.
Thank you, everybody, for that. Let me see. I want to say thank you. No. I think I might have uh, did something they were probably waiting for. My bad. But hey, no harm done. Everyone's still is there in time. And I was on the way. Why not? I'll do fate things after. Ah, merchants. Hello. Oh, this is the place. Right, that's the merchant. Okay, I better do a nice little duty right before we get back to feels. This part definitely has feels. Let me tell you. I wonder if anything in this expansion might make me tear up, because if it hits the right points, it has a chance. Where's Walk Lamont? She said she had one more person to get. I don't know. Oh. Oh, she got Kona. Okay. So I'd keep you waiting. Oh, it's okay. She got Kona, Think Grid, and uh you're on Jay. You invited the second promise as well? I'm a T. Yeah, I remind you that this is this right is a competition. Whatever advantage you're about to share with me, you ought to utilize it to your own benefit. I barely made headway in communicating with the locals. At this rate, you lead the race to the Golden City. I need your help. To complete the complete the feat? No, no. Mamook has a problem. I can't solve it on my own, and you're the most clever person I know. I want to hear... I want you to hear the people firsthand, so that we might come up with a way to help them. He's smiling! Very well, I'm at your disposal. Everyone, thank you for gathering on such short notice. I am Waklama, third promise of Tulio. I thought you served Bakujaja. You deceived us. No, they did not. Hey, man. How you doing? I mean, you did atrocious things, but I do feel bad for you. And your mother. You probably went through a lot, too. No? The scales they showed you were mine. I entrusted them to the Third Promise and her retinue. Why honor these outsiders so? Because Waklamot has won my trust. Now you will hear her words. Bakujaja shared with me the truth about blessed siblings, about the price to pay to conceive them. As an outsider to your community, it is not my place to judge you on your culture. Culture is born of the exper ex experiences of its people, their lives, and their land. But it breaks my heart to know that yours has brought you all so much suffering. If any here wish to break from the cycle of tragedy that creating blessed siblings demands, I ask you to join us. Please, I don't want any more of our children to die. You think we want this? We have no choice. Only blessed siblings can liberate us from our suffering. Without them, we have nothing. That remains to be seen. Speak with a third promise. Share with her your worries and your pain. Together, we may find a new way forward. Together? Is she... If she is trustworthy, then I will speak with her. Is 
It will be best if you withdrew, my son. Many cannot yet speak freely in your presence. Let's keep an eye out for Zarel Ja. He wouldn't take kindly to this sort of gathering. No, he would not. And thus leaves us. Once we understand everyone's concerns, we'll be better equipped to help them. Let's make sure they feel heard. Time to talk with everybody. Now. Not even I imagine that my sister would one day befriend Baku Jaja. Wakwama risk her standing in the right to attend to her people's needs. Tis a degree of selflessness you can claim to share. Everyone looks uneasy, but their faith in Baku Jaja guides them even now. Now we come to the heart of it. Hey guys. Even if Baku Jaja trusts their promise, I don't know if I'm comfortable discussing this with her. Hey, Chocobo. I'm sure my son would prefer to stay, but his presence alone still greatly sways our people's behavior. And to blessed siblings. Okay, okay. I keep accidentally hitting you. Sorry, you gotta go. You bless belief in blessed siblings and the salvation they would bring has sustained me for years and years. But there's another way. The third promise can truly help us. I don't know what to think, how to feel about this. Okay, walk. I'm glad Kona agreed to help us. He's always been good at solving complicated problems. Me, not so much. But I'll support my mooks people however I can. By combining our respective strengths, we'll help them discover a new source of hope. I know we will. Oh, easy, you giant ape. Literally. Ah. 500 gold. Mamuk speaks. Before she hears the people, Waklamut would like to ensure she is prepared. Alright, Bayer, before we start, let's make sure we're remembering our history correctly. The Mamuja and the Zabral fought for centuries over the land in the upper forest, but due to infighting, Mamuja forces struggled to make significant gains. In order to perform uh, in order to promote cooperation to Habugi, Habugo and Bunawal clans intermar intermarried, and that's how Blessed Siblings were first conceived. With that in mind, let's talk to the people and learn why they rely on Blessed Siblings. And now I'm going to talk with you. Nope, okay. Blessed Siblings promise us more strength. They promise us the sun. This forest is dark and inhospitable. Hosp hospitable. When given the opportunity to live in Polio, most of our people didn't think twice. Still, the prospect of being among so many outsiders was intimidating, enough to keep us here. Blessed siblings are meant to deliver us from this accursed forest, to lead us to the fertile land above, where we might make a place for the Mamulja to abide, abide in peace and plenty. So you desire fertile land, one that's all your own. Hmm. So they want, like, fertile land of their own, not really near anybody because they don't really care for outsiders. As, you've ha as you'll have noticed, this forest is very dark. Hardly any sunlight makes through the canopy, so it feels like it's always night. We plow, we fertilize, we irrigate, yet our crops shrivel, shrivel and die as though cursed. The only one that grows well is Najul, Jatiki, Banana, and Turali. Try living on that and a little e else for a few centuries and see how you like it. A forest where nothing grows. It's not hard to imagine why you want to leave. Those who have known op only open skies and bountiful land cannot comprehend our plight. To thrive, we must take what we lack by force, and for that, we need the might of the blessed siblings. There, there have to be other ways to thrive, ways that don't require fighting. The lands... This land was once rich with ore, but the Akhoi did not stop digging until all the veins were spent. The meteorites are only good for so much. Even if we made our overtures to traders, we have little to offer. 
Nothing would make me happier than to make a good life for my family in the place where I was born, but that's impossible. So the resources are sparse, as they are. You don't have good prospects for trade. Man. So they want fertile land. They want to raise their children where they are, but it's really hard to do so because there's no plentiful ore. Everything they try and grow immediately shrivels up and dies as if the land itself is cursed. And then... You think there's any way we can chop down some of these trees? Probably not. They probably tried that. Okay. Well, also the ground here is different. Well, I'm... I think I'm starting to understand. Everyone has their own perspective, but all their concerns were about the force itself. Dark, infertile, court cursed. Hearing that, it's little wonder that people here wish they had their land. And who better to get it than the blessed siblings? It's hard to convince people to stay in a place they can't provide what they need. You'd think the meteorites at least would have value, but apparently not. Hold on. Didn't Aaronville mention something about the meteorites that they that the aether they emit makes the plants glow blue? A rather significant psychological effect, I would say. If they were to study these meteorites, we dis we might discover other ways they influence local fauna. I know a curious amalgamum of of tree and meteorite just south of here. Determining precisely how they interact with one another may yield crucial insight. You mean the meteorite that's basically grown into a tree? Everyone, I really appreciate you for sharing your thoughts with us. Thanks to your insights, we are we have a promising idea already. We just need a moment to investigate it further, so please bear with us. We'll be right back. Alright, back we go. Hopefully another fate doesn't just pop up in my lap and I take it from people. Some of those people probably weren't happy. They're like, God damn it. This stupid gunbreaker just started it. Oh, I ain't mean, there yet. I love how my angry Final Fantasy IV team player is some country hick. Which I extremely doubt that's every Final Fantasy IV team player, and if it is, wow, I'm shocked. Alright, we're almost there. Yep, that's the one I was thinking of. The tree that's literally growing around that meteorite. At first glance, this forest seems a haven of mysterious beauty. But the reality of living here is quite another matter. I had known that the Octel were bad battered by a verit veritable deluge of meteorites long ago. But I never considered how their presence might be affecting the environment. What well, a remarkable tree. I hope it provided us with the insight we need. Plants that shrivel as though cursed. I think I can hazard a guess as to why. Same. The aether that is probably emitting from the meteorites is poisoning the ground in a way. To the point only certain things can grow. It really is incredible how a tree could support such an enormous boulder. That meteorite's Etheric emissions are palpable, even from this distance. Seeing this again makes me feel more confident in sharing a theory of mine. I suspect that only plants with the etheric affinity to these meteorites can thrive in this forest. Yep, okay, so something like I was thinking. If so, that gargantuan tree that cre- that- th the gargantuan trees that create the dense canopy would be necessity- would, by necessity, possess the same affinity, as well as the- aforementioned Najuli tree. Indeed. I'd like to analyze samples of the meteorite before I draw any definitive conclusions, however. I carry with me a few devices that would aid in this endeavor, but perhaps you and Kral could lend your expertise as well. I'd like to join you. The, the etheric signature of those meteorites may be crucial in determining what mayor species might fare well here. More the merrier. Ah, I think I see where you're getting at. If we can prove that to them that the cursed force isn't so cursed, maybe the people won't feel like blessed siblings are their only solution. So how can I help? 
Want me to climb the tree and break off a piece of that meteorite for you? There are plenty of fragments in the ground already. It should be enough for our purposes if we gather about five pieces each. Even better if those fragments are gathered from De uh, Despar. Oh, yeah, okay. Disparate, disparate location. Disparate locations. Oh, work brain. I will collect your pieces once you have them. So an idea that's coming to mind already is maybe if we plant plants that are with that etheric signature, maybe, but no, I don't know. Like the Naju leaves, they grow here, which are fine. Maybe if we find more plants that can grow here. So the reason this tree grew so big because the meteorites energies. It is a beautiful tree and very cool to look at. All right, give me my shard. It's materia. It's Final Fantasy VII, green materia. What oh, is it, poison? I kid you not, the only green materia I can think of right now, even though, oh, cure, cure, cure's green also. Cure's green and poison's green. The more fragments we gather, the better. Let's all do what we can. Understood. Oh wait, is this? That one's a different color. That one's a yellow. Oh wow, what mount was that? Should have brought better tools. Someone's mining. Too big for our purposes, but a shard of it might do. Ironville, if you would. This one, okay, so they're all the same color. It's just that one was underwater, so the color was different. Okay. Right, now I gotta go. Oh, hey, look at it. A bonus has been applied at Spear Brother. I'm not doing it, don't worry. We're doing main story. Kona, my man. How you doing? I have mine already, so let me know when you have yours. Not yet. I'm almost there. I just need two more samples. All right, let's see. Yeah, I see it looks green under the water. All right, one more shard. All right, let's give him my shards. Kona, I got mine. Do you find your fragments? Meteorite shard, a softly, a softly yeah, a softly glowing remnant of an ancient meteor shower. There you go. Much obliged. Alphanil Cryo and I will combine the gathered samples and conduct an analysis forthwith. Determining the wavelength may take a little while, but I am hopeful that our efforts will bear fruit. I'll tell my sister to await our arrival at Mox Toral Zuj, so go and meet her there. We will return with our results as soon as possible. Honestly, I think my reading comprehension in this game is getting better. But then again, there are still words that I pronounce awfully, like Makozuj or whatever. But I think I'm getting better. I mean, I still stumble at times and have to repeat things, but... This is what happens when you don't read out loud. I'm going the wrong way... Because I read in my head, I do never read out loud, so it takes a lot of getting used to, let me tell you. Hmm. You know, technically I could use the arc as a mount, because I don't have the music playing right now. Oh yeah, I gotta check and see if my copyright claim for that actually dropped. All right. Oh, a new location was discovered. Cool. Those bluebirds are really cool. Give me a mount. On top of that, they seem to not eject, but yeah, they're getting giving away aether energy. It looks like they're, I don't know. Very interesting. Oh, the moth is back. I'm not gonna start the moth. Let me see. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna start the mod. I don't need people getting mad at me if they are. I got main story moth. People will get you soon. Because people do other things like that. Or that. No, that. That. Well, okay. Oh, an aether current. That was an accident. I was looking at the map. Max Turl Zuja. Zuj. All right. And we got another aether current. I'm. Definitely gonna have to search for these on my own time though Okay, everybody we have news We've done all we can the rest we can leave it to Kona and the others I don't know the first thing about those Charlie and devices of his but if they can help the Mamuk, I'm glad he has them There's hope for this forest yet Bader feel it Just Give me my money Ah the time's finally come. The feet of the Brotherhood. Wakuma is determined to find a solution for the Mamuk. I'm sure Zeroja would have choice words for us if he knew we were what we're up to. But his people are my people, and I can't ignore their plight. If I'm to call myself Dawn's servant one day, I have to bring an end to the tragedy here. Many are depending on me. Ba Baku Jaja, not least of all. Anyway, I'm sure Kona and the others will be back with their report soon. I'm waiting for Kona, who honestly has a really good story with Thancred Orianche. I take it this one's gonna be voice, so I'm gonna start sipping coffee. It's not voice, I swear to god, I'm, I'm suing somebody. I will sue him. Okay, Square Enix is going bankrupt. I'm suing. <laughs> I'll put my coffee down. Good, e good. everyone is assembled. In live our news, I thought it's only right to call the others. Thanks to the efforts of all, I'm pleased to say that our analysis has yielded many valuable insight. And I dare say that pro... Prognosis is hopeful. Also, someone just shot a firework outside at almost 7 in the afternoon. It's still light out. And it scared the dogs. Hmm, thank you. Earlier we asked about the hopes you place in the blessed siblings. Why they are important to you. Your overwhelming response was a frustration toward this forest. From a lack of natural resources to an ability to cultivate crops, in all respects have you ever struggled to build a prosperous home, thus your understandable desire for new land. However, this would be an unfortunate, di di uh, unf unfortunate dismal of what makes your forest uniquely valuable. This, that is, the soil. Our tests have proven without doubt that the Jatiki heartland is abundantly fertile. This may be surprising here, as you have seen, crops fail time and time again. But I've discovered the root of this problem as well. The meteorites scattered throughout the forest emit an unusual energy that greatly influences the development of the surrounding plant life. Some plants thrive on this energy, like the Najul and the giant trees that create the canopy. But others, as you all know, are sickened by it. Which makes me wonder, if we stay here long enough... Wait... Is that what made the uh, the giant sick? Maybe is the aether uh, the aether coming from the meteorites? Because they no wait no wait wait no that's the other place. Sorry sorry I'm jumping ahead of things. They, they this isn't the place. Fortunately the solution is simple. Oh. Across the salt and a play a place called Charlian. There's a peerless collection of flora sampled from every corner of the world. Now that we know what energies are most prevalent, are most prevalent in your forest, we can offer you seeds and starters guaranteed to thrive here. 
I took liberty of collecting a few colleagues via co contacting a few colleagues via Link Pearl. Should you desire them, a sample of our best candidates can be shipped here in short order. Just as Eorzea acquired the Popo Pop Popoto and Tomato, it's called Potato, it's a potato, not a Popoto, and Tomato from Turl, so too might Mamook benefit from foreign crops. You mean we'd be able to grow more than Najul here? Precisely. While, while care must be taken to choose those species that will not have an adverse effect on your ecosystem, the ag your agriculture options should increase remarkably. Oh, remarkably. With the right crops, Mamook will have all its needs to prosper, both at home and at trade. Plus, the siblings don't have to be the answer anymore. But some still want to see the sun. Then, then there was never any need to fight. Never any need to sacrifice. We can't change the past, but we can try and make the future better. Let the old teachings end with us. I know blessed siblings represent absolute strength to you. Let go of that idea can't be easy. But I'll prove that when we work together, our combined strength can achieve anything. Show us, promise. If there's another way for our children in our home, we'll no longer suffer in silence. There we go. Narrow one's talking. But... Oh, okay, I thought he was about to walk down. Sometimes we have to fight alone, but not this time. Would you say a few words, Bader? Oh, man. Oh, put me on the spot. I didn't get speech ready. Um, okay. Absolutely anything is possible. We work together. Our victory over Villagramanda is proof. With faithful allies at your side, you can save even an entire star. True. And friends, both old and new, you can find the light to banish the darkness. Ooh, hoo, 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 that's my favorite. I'm doing it. Friends, a perplexing notion from an outsider, but not unwelcome. We've said what we wanted to say. Now that's left is to defeat my father's shade and defeat the Brotherhood and clear the way for my mook's bright new future. Oh yeah, we're having a trial, baby. Do not give us cause to question our faith in you. Please, live up to your words. Is Baku Jaja gonna join us? Because her bro other brother's not here and we're gonna be down at DPS. I will. After we complete his feat, let us be sure to tell Zarl Ja the good news about this four. He's not going to be happy. I'm sure he's as eager as anyone to eat what tasty foods they'll grow here. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be happy. Wait, no, we have Alize because we're no Alpha no, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compassion never, even for the likes of him, who continue to eclipse me in every way. Then it's a simple choice. We're counting on you, Waklama. All right, time to beat up our old man. Don't think it's going to be easy. I don't think it's going to be unlocked right now because I have to walk there and talk to the guy. Yeah. I say, if it unlocks right now, it's gonna make no sense. Oh, Aaronville, how you doing? Wacklemut's gonna have to announce her readiness. I never imagined the samples were so feverishly collected for the ex Exodus would find new purpose here. But if they help these people improve their prospects, all the better. Anyway, we should go and meet our comrades where Zoral Ja made his own attempt. The final feat awaits. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's, uh, get our last keystone. But the father is not going to be happy about this, I'm telling you now, man. 
I right, so, so we saw what he said and did the Baku Jaja when he came back with only two keystones. He banished the guy. Called him a failure and wants more blessed siblings to be born. And now that we know the cost of that. Yeah, no. The glory of my Mak Maxus Rulaknak. What did I just say? Oh, it's a no. It's not a trial. It's a dude. It's a god damn. What's the name? Ah, oh, it's a instance. Thank you, brain. This feat may bring us closer to Golden City, but for now we must stand strong for the people of Mamook. I can offer moral support at best. For whatever it's worth, good luck. Zarl Jha's intention was for this feat to prove the supremacy of the Blessed Siblings, but Waku Mutt shall instead prove that there are more ways for the Mamook's people to empower themselves. Where'd Kona go? Have you seen him? Well, he's still back there. Oh, I know he left. Never mind. Um, what was I gonna say? So my question here is, um... I got a feel we're gonna be fighting her father in a trial one day. Fully awakens. I got a There's no way they wouldn't do that. Someone has gone to fetch Zoral Jha. He should be here soon. On proceeding, several cutscenes. Ooh, 666. Wow, what a number. Oh dear. Do I really want to do this? It's bedtime. Yes, let's do this. Back to coffee sipping. You better have dialogue. Voiced dialogue. I hear voiced feet. Zerelja, I'm ready for the final feat. <laughs> Grown weary of postponing the inevitable, have you? Something like that. You see, I've learned all sorts of things about Mamuk and your people. Is that supposed to impress me? I now understand why I need to surpass blessed siblings. The cost of producing superior offspring is destroying your people's souls. Look at them, and you'll see this. So I'll defeat my father's shade and prove to you that there's a better path for Mamuk. What drivel! Without the blessed, we are nothing but weaklings! Doomed to fade into obscurity. Of course you are weak. We all are. Each and every one of us. But when we join hands, we gain the strength to overcome any foe. Even Vali Yarmanda. Really weakened, by the way. Enough talk. Prove your mettle. Against Gulul Jaja, the finest warrior ever to have grace to run. All right, here we go. Fine by me. Not even Papa's shade will stop me from upholding his legacy. My soul doesn't hold for more than two. Uh, no, I will fight half alongside her. Oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Hi guys. I guess Kona's gonna give Claimants up. Claimants are not permitted to assist one another. Second promise. Oh, he's gonna step out. But you may observe your sister's pitiable attempt. He's no longer going for the throne. I see. In that case. It seems I'm no longer a claimant. I am now free to participate, I trust. What are you scheming? Nothing. I've simply come to realize who is worthy of following in Father's footsteps.
Not our brother. Not Bakul Jaja. And not me. You have always held the happiness of our people closest to your heart, Lamachi. So I will do everything in my power to ensure you ascend to the throne. This is how I shall repay father for his kindness. This is how I shall serve Tuli Yolal. I could always count on you, Kona. Thank you. <laughs> it will make no difference. Numbers matter not in the face of true might. Gulul Jaja, mightiest of the blessed, arise! Everyone ready? Well, we're here. I guess I'm ready. All right, thank you. I'm tanking. Do not do my job. All right. No hard feelings, Papa. I've got a lot of hopes riding on my shoulders. And the only way forward is through you. All right, so I'm expecting the instance battle, the one-on-one, -on -one, to be on steroids and crack. Bear with us to our resolve. All right, let's do this. Their resources, guys. So long as we stand together, we're unstoppable. Wait for it now. I guess I expected it to be on crack. These place sundered Baligarbanda scales. Release of fire wave. Oh, that's a problem. Wait. There we go, that worked. Yes! Thank you, Kona! 
Not enough. Together, we shall triumph. Just gonna pop that. I don't know why. The Noble Trail. I'm gonna do this. Yep, everyone just. Yep. Damn it, stop running for me. That hurts. Oh, I'm in the bad spot. Well, not I'm gonna pop Nebula. Staying here, I'm gonna take your word for it. Do not need to change the level. I got greedy. I wanted to try and finish my combo before I did anything. That was me. Eh, it punished me real hard. All right, here we go again. Bear witness while resolve. There is so much backside. So long as we stand together, we are unstoppable. Yeah, I was full of three. I pop that. Ten percent better than nothing. Honestly, right here. These play thunder, body garbanta scales. I messed that up. I meant to do the other rotation. I tried again, not screw up. Come on, over here, big boy. Okay. I hate to say everyone, I have no control over this. Overconfident. Crush. What a chore. Ever hungry for a battle. We must free them! Target the constricting flames! 
None can outrun my flames. Charm, baby. Didn't get greedy that time. Through finishing that combo on my buff, just go. Ooh, yeah. We beat that smoke. That's my old man for you. 
The fine design you revealed your old man. It's just a shade made out of smoke. A fraction of his power. Uh-oh. Refuse to accept this. Ain't that a bit stubborn? Even for you. Huh? Who is that? Oh, wait, is that the traveler? Arugadin? It couldn't be. Tanqua! It's been too long. I have no idea who this is. It has indeed. You're looking more imposing since last I saw you, Wuklamat. He looks a little bit like the uh, Traveler guy in the visions. Tonkwa. My Turali moniker. Galul Jaja insisted I take one, saying my birth name was too cumbersome for the local tongues. That birth name being Ketanram, hey, I presume. Hey, it is him. Okay. No! Ketanram's that legendary Eorzean sailor. The one with the pickled cabbage. We can talk about me cabbage later. I love how we just got two new names for this guy. It's like, ah, oh, this is my name. No, actually, yeah, yeah. Also, here we go. Zarelja, whether you like it or no, these young'uns accomplished the feat. To deny Wuklamat her reward would be to betray the Dawn Servant's trust. And what should she be rewarded for? Calling upon her minions to carry her to victory! Uh, you said anyone's allowed. Or, mm, you know, I, I want to say the first one, but uh, it, you, you're an Atrak of Amuk. Show some dignity. Please, man. I don't have dignity. Not anymore. Mm, yeah, I guess I went with the other one. I wagered everything on this feat. And by the same token, I understand the enormity of your accomplishment. Together, we can achieve anything. You needn't place your faith in the promise of blessed siblings. How would you have us reclaim our glory? <laughs> With friendship and community. With us. If you mean to rule, you should be more sparing with your offers of clemency. Especially to a man who has sacrificed countless young lives. Nevertheless, I will fulfill my charge as Elector. In recognition of your feet, I bestow upon you a keystone. Hello. All right, we have all of them. Now what? We're still a closer to find the Golden City. We just have the keystones. Congratulations are nearly in order, I suppose. I'm confident that you will find the Golden City in no time. You've grown much and more during this journey. Become someone ready to lead our nation. Little Lamachi no longer has your brother. 
I couldn't be more proud. Kona. Thank you. I must express my gratitude for your cooperation. And my regret for failing to live up to expectations. I think you met their expectations with flying colors, man. Nonsense. If you believe Walt Lamart is the woman for the job, then you have our wholehearted support. One last thing. I wish to speak to you both from the heart. Unpracticed as I am, this may sound hackneyed, but... I am truly grateful to have met you. <laughs> Words spoken with such feeling would resonate with any fortunate enough to hear them. Though our journey together hath ended, ever shall we cherish the memories. I am. And should you require further esoteric musings or biting witticisms, don't hesitate to call. I dare say we'll come flocking. <laughs> but I get ahead of myself. As I recall, our contract remains in effect until we've escorted the Second Promise back to the capital. I leave my sister in your capable hands. See that she returns home safely. Oh, those two are joining our group. Okay. Nice to see you guys again. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, he was talking to me. My bad. <laughs> he was talking to those two. Whoops. You've still moms to go yet, Wuklama. The right ain't over till you find the city of gold. Hey, want to tell us where it is? I know. But if I can come this far... I can go all the way. Yeah, I confused it. I thought he was talking to uh, Thancred and not both of them. No, no, he's talking to us. Even the shade, the Dawn Servant's strength is incredible. Shudder how to imagine how we might have fared without the second promise of support. The second promise has warmed a great deal since we first met him. I dare say that wise and witty duo have, has been of no little influence. Joyed though I am by this outcome, I am also eager to speak with Ketaram while we have the chance. I'm glad to see you all remain in one piece. I will not stand in your way. But mark me, your victory does not afford you authority to dictate our future. We will decide what is best for the Mamook. No one else. Not, uh, not like a bit. Oh, oh, jeez. Not like a bit of hardship to see your precious ch children grow into fine adults. What was that? Let's go and tell the people our victory. I want to go to bed. Everyone, we lost. Uh, pack your bags and start having children. Third promise. You brought everyone. We're just coming to you. We did it, Milaja. We proved to the Atriarch that we, that now you, my father's full power, can overcome the strength of our fellowship of the Ring. I knew you would. I was right to trust in, trust you. You fulfilled your promise. Now it's our turn. You've showed us another way that we can build the lives we've always wanted here in our homeland without sacrifice. Since our new crops will come from across the salt, suppose we should have to treat without we'll have to treat with outsiders as equals, of course. Inside or outside, we're all just people, no matter what we look like or where we're born. 
When you're not used to all the color and variety, differences can feel like obstacles. But by learning more about what makes us different, we can also find a common ground in places we never expected. Something new may become something you love. And someone you once hated might one day become your friend. You never know unless you keep an open mind. And while it may feel scary, taking the first step forward uh, towards understanding is always worth it. Of course, learning about outsiders may help Mamut grow. But what happens when they learn about us and what we've done? They will not. For generations, our covenant has been kept secret and so shall remain. The atrocities committed here were facilitated by the Atriarchs. We and no one else are responsible. For my deeds, I am prepared to forfeit my life. But I will not suffer other I will not suffer others to be damned alongside with alongside me. No one's being damned, your life is forfeit. Last thing the city needs is more death. Bakujaja hasn't fought this hard for this long. Uh, this hard for this long to lose another fa his father. If you truly feel responsible, be the first person to extend understanding to others on behalf of the Mamuk. Your community is waiting for you here in Tulio. We can still make things right, my love. Choose a different side of history. Thank you, Sir Promise. Thank you for everything. You still owe me an explanation about that cabbage, you know. People in the MOOC have accepted you. Merchants and vendors are now available for use. Sweet! I gotta check out the vendor! So I don't know what armor you have, but I'm very curious. Uh, let's see, merchant... I mean, let's check the shop out. I'm curious if it's wares. And then, once again, two quests for Aether Currents. A thing I will do later. That's uh, a house. Other way. It probably sells this set, if I had to guess. I do not need mending. Ah! You have weapons! Oh, it's almost better. Oh, wait, I've seen that before. That's a really sick looking gun blade. Alright, what gear do you have? The gear I have on now. Okay, what does Samurai set look like? I'm just gonna. Actually, no, 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 not Samurai. What does the healing set look like? Save. Alright. Eh, meh, it's okay. Oh, wait, let me sell to you real quick. There we go. And then... Oh. These are all not useful to me. Oh, look at that. I got a little money. Just a little, of course. All right. But, hey... I'm gonna call here, it's getting late for me. Still got work. But I'm glad I played today. Next time, of course, we'll continue with the main story, like always. 
all side quests I'll be doing probably after the MSQ if I want to continue recording at that point. We'll see. But until then, I'll see you next time. Good night.